Okay. Okay, guys. Good morning or evening. Now, this is a new project. Now, I'm trying something that Michelle at Glitz and Glitter did this morning. Actually, it was two days ago. Now, in here, I have got blackish green and orange. Now, here we go. Around the edge. There's a little bit of resin in the centre. But around the edge... I ain't got much room, as you guys know. That's a little bit too much, I think. Okay, blackish green. Let's put a little bit more in there. Even it up a little bit. I've got a mould there. Orange. Now we are going to put a top coat on this one. While it's in the mould. Oh, I like the orange. That's nice. <laughs> and push. Now, all the pattern is on the top of this one. Yeah, it's going to go over on one side again. Typical, perfectly level. It was perfectly level when I started. Now, why is that not level now? I want it more over that way. Come on, lift up. Every video you've got to play around with this thing. It look level? Yeah, I think it's level now. Oh, I think so. It was level when I started. Perfectly level when I started. Now, we've certainly mixed it up together. Why are you going down that way? You're naughty. Get around down this way. You're perfectly level this morning when I started. That's better. Get down there. There we go. Now we're right. Bare necessities. Now I think we're right. We'll put a top coat on that. Now I've got some little pumpkins here. Not pumpkins, they're uh, mushrooms. Oh, so I'm just going to fill them up. I assume you're filling up the whole mould. Oh, no, we'll just give it an effect. Put a bit of that in there. That should be about full. And we'll see what that looks like in the morning. Now. I'm not going to put no, um, I will get that out. Now we'll see what happens. Now 
Now it should be on the top. The pattern, according to Michelle. I hope they're all right in Florida. As you know, they're in Florida. I hope they're all right. I am just going to straighten up that. If I can, a little bit, bring it in. I want to make it a little bit better circle than that. Okay, that might do something. We'll see. We shall see. Well, you're going over, aren't you? Come on, that way. Trouble is, I'm not on level surface. Even though I'm in a house, they never made it level. They never made it level, guys. They're very bad designers. I've got a little bit of green left. So, I am going to do something with these, the 3D three-dimensional uh, painting using one of these boards. Uh, these will be used. Now, oh, that looks like a um, leaves, dolls, a bird. That looks like a fairy or a subdescription. Okay, good mould. I'll just have to put it down there. Uh, let's see. Might be a little bit of orange for the bird. Now, I don't think... Ah, I don't think they're going to be uh, shiny. I don't think it's going to be shiny. That mould, that's fine. Always put a top coat on. A little bit of trimming on the bird. Very hard work putting in resin. He'll be a green door. We'll see what they are. They will need a trim. That seems to be a given. He looks like he's going to go over the edge. And I don't want him over the edge.
and have a little bit of mess there. Now, do we want some glitter? Somehow or other, my right ear is not working. Hmm, something's going on. Still trying to get some of that resin off the bird. I think I got it. Yeah, I think that one's okay. Maybe a little bit off of that side. There we go. That's better. That looks better. Now, what are you doing, sir? Hey, what are you going to do? I think some of the orange is going in. Uh, what have I got? Oh, I know. Try something different for the centre. Now it's on top. It is on the pattern comes on top. This one. Now they are not that expensive, so I think they're already painted. So I'm going to send these over to somebody. Oh no! Draws the pendants. I've got some of this Ella Boney shell. Ella Boney? No, Ella. You know. Seeing the centre is off centre. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Is that glitter all the time? There we go. A little bit of colour. It's roughly the shape. Now, <coughs> let's just drop him in. Drop him in. Push him down a little bit. Just push him down. You're going to put a top coat on, remember. Now these gloves are going in the bin, so it doesn't worry. I'll just push him down. I'll get my lighter in a minute. Now hopefully this will do what it's supposed to be doing. Now where's my lighter? Oh, oh dear me. Ah. When you don't have space, guys, it's very annoying. <laughs> As you know, I don't have much. <laughs> yeah, I saw the bubbles. Give it a little bit of heat too. I'm sure that's what makes it work, you know that? 
I'm sure that makes it work. The heat. Now the orange should be going into the green. It should go in the green. Then when it's dry, I'll put a nice little top coat on that. I'll put a nice little top coat on him. And the reveal. Now, not very close. And with this resin, I'm using two very little bubbles. Very, very little bubbles. We'll save them for another project. Now, I think we're all level. And it will probably take mm, four or five ounces of resin to cover. That's a big mold. That was... Um, Five of five to five, five to five of them. It's one to one resin. It's one to one. So I did five and five, which filled it up to about the uh, filled it up to. I'll show you. It filled it up to. About there, that top line there. I filled it up to that top line. Now, I don't measure, I just do. If I've got left over, I do another project. I do another project, guys. As Michelle says, the little ones do do good. Okay, that's it. Done. I'll see you later. I think that's going to do something. It should do. I've done exactly the same. Unless, of course, I didn't put enough mica powder in it. That's the only thing that might not be heavy enough. You wanted a certain ah, heaviness. There we go. That's done. But no, I'll use that mushroom in a 3D... I've got enough there to do another couple of projects I want to put inside of these. Like a three-dimensional um, box thing. Now that is closing and I don't think that piece is moving. I don't think it's moving at all. We shall see. And I'm going to get a second cup of coffee. Now have your wet ones on hand. Because that cigarette light is a bit sticky. So just have your resin. Wet ones on hand. Clean wipes. Whatever one you're using, I'll just wipe that all down. Very hot too, actually. Ned Kelly. Good old Ned Kelly. Bad boy. Very bad bush ranger in his day. Now, that's done. I can go in the bin. Oh, they look good. Please work. Maybe not enough orange. And maybe not enough orange. Mm. 
He's on the bottom, so he's okay. Just making sure he's all covered. There we go. Now, yeah, will it have a flat bottom too? Will it have a flat bottom? That's the thing. I don't know. I don't know. May not. Now, leave him be. Uh, Michelle used black and orange. No, brown. Brown and orange. Sorry, it was brown and orange. A couple of days ago it was up, so have a look at her channel. Glitz and Glitter. Now, I'll do some drawing. Much you bet it's going to be on the other side? How much you bet me when we flip it over, it'll be all on the other side? It'll be a crackle effect. <laughs> okay, guys, have fun. Play safe. Use a mask if you have to. Use your mask. Wear your gloves. I'm using uh, Power Force, but I have got some black ones up there, but they don't fit. Now, I've been using resin for about 25 years. And this brand is a very safe brand. Build, building, build, buildings, epoxy resin. One with the dolphin on it. eBay. eBay, and I also get, I have used them. I could use them as a top coat, actually, uh, from... Team you. If you can't hold the big bottles and you can't get the pump, get the smaller bottles. Much safer if you've got to hold hands and you haven't got the uh, holding power. Much safer. Just get the small bottles. You can be, those small bottles will do about four of these. I mean, I've got these open and I've got them open because I did do something with them. Oh, that does look like it's going to do something. Maybe a little bit more orange for future reference. We shall see. Now, have a good day, guys. Oh, come on. I swept the floor. Ah. Okay, guys. I'll see you later.